you've seen the before and after, I would love to show you how I did it. My name's BJ, my business is called Junked Up. I would love it so much if you would hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know every time that there's a new video. Let's get started. So when I'm doing decoupage, I generally put a base coat of white down first. That allows the true color of the napkins to show after I've glued it down. Carefully peel the layers of the napkin apart so you're left with just the top printed portion. I'm using liquid patina as my decoupage medium, trying to avoid the decorative moldings that are on the piece because I want to paint those and I don't want my napkin to stick there. So I'm here, I'm using a small artist brush just to get into all of the little nooks and crannies with my liquid patina. Gently lay my napkin down and then using my fingers, I'm gently pushing the napkin so that it makes contact with the liquid patina and adding a little bit more of the liquid patina in places where my napkin isn't sticking. And then I just repeat that process until the entire napkin is glued down to the front of my cabinet. And again, I'm using that small artist brush just to make sure that all of those edges and corners, which there are a lot of, are all glued down properly. Now you could wait until everything is dry and then take a little 220 grit sandpaper and go ahead and sand all of the edges and take up the napkin that isn't glued down to the decorative molding on the front. Or, like I did here, I just used my wet artist brush that had liquid patina on it and kind of went along the edge until that napkin broke free and pulled off the part that wasn't glued down. Once all my decorative molding was exposed, I gave my project about four to five coats of liquid patina to seal in all of my decoupage. Next I'm using one of my favorite colors. This is DIY Paint Summer Crush to lay down a base coat over my entire piece using a small artist brush to get the details on the front. After allowing the summer crust to dry thoroughly, I then brushed on a coat of petticoat pink, which is a beautiful soft pink. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button, I would be forever grateful. And don't forget to turn on the notifications so you get notified every time I upload a new video. we start the blending process. I'm using a little bit of liquid sunshine. I had thrown in a little bit of cake batter too, but I think just the liquid sunshine would have been fine. I'm just putting little dabs of that and then with a mister water bottle, I use my brush to blend the yellow in with the petticoat pink. You want to use kind of a gentle motion. You don't want to over brush because you'll end up taking some of your paint off. disclosure, it's somewhere along the line during this project, I let it sit for a good 10 days only because I couldn't quite figure out what I wanted to do with it. So once I figured out what I wanted to do with it, I continued. So here I'm using cherry picked, which is another great color and some water to feather that cherry picked in just along the bottom, like third of the cabinet because I wanted it to be darker on the bottom and more yellow and lighter on top. I drew on the napkin itself for my color inspiration, so all of the colors I chose for the paint are really found in the napkin. 
Here I'm using aviary, which I applied using an offset knife and then used my dusty brush from Paint Pixie and a little bit of water to go ahead and feather that in. The key for good blending is using enough water that you're able to move your paint around, but not so much water that you're dripping or reactivating those layers underneath and taking the paint off. repeating the process again only with a different color so I used aviary before now I'm using bohemian blue again taking my color inspiration from the colors that I found in the napkin use my offset knife to add a little bit of color in and then use my paint pixie dusty and some water to blend you will notice how very pigmented that bohemian blue is it takes just a little bit of paint to deposit a lot of color Using a staining pad and just a slight tapping motion and it really helps blend those colors together and gives me this soft kind of mottled effect if you're struggling with blending this is a great tool that may be able to help you After I let everything dry, I go back with a damp cloth and now I'm doing some wet distressing on the edges and corners. I also like to take that slightly, ever so slightly damp cloth and go over where I did all of my blending because it just really further smooths that out and tempers that blending a little bit and really blends and melds those colors together. just a little bit more of some wet distressing pulling all of those layers of color that I added through and getting down to that very first layer of summer crush that I had applied so once I'm happy with the way it looks and all my distressing is done now I'm going to add a layer of clear wax went ahead and waxed the entire thing, including right over all of the decoupage. Now I'm applying some dark wax, really just in corners and edges to create a little bit more depth and dimension. I like to apply it in the corner and then use my brush to feather all of that wax out, and it really just takes a little bit of wax. Don't freak out. As long as you have got your clear wax on first, that dark wax or the black wax can absolutely be tempered or removed if needed. If you struggle with where to put your dark or black wax, I call it placing it strategically or artfully. I like to do it around knobs and handles, around hinges, in the corners, any place that over time dust or dirt would collect and that makes the finish look believable. I like to let my wax dry and set up overnight and then I come back the next day with a white lint-free cloth and give it a good buffing. There were so many times during this project that I was frustrated and couldn't quite figure out what I wanted and wasn't really liking this piece. I wasn't sure of the color combination, but I just needed to trust the process, trust myself and trust my product. And in the end, I think it really turned out great.
love it so much if you would hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know every time that there's a new video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.